welcome to the stream today we have splatoon 3 um unfortunately because i've got my uh uncle's celebration of life ceremony on saturday and we're going up there tomorrow i will not be able to stream splatfest um so i'm going to see if it will let me just get conch shells without actually picking a team because I don't really like any of the options this time around. Um, but yeah, we're going to be playing some lovely Splatoon 3 today. So let's do this. Hello, Aaron. Hello, Orville. Welcome to the stream. So I have to, so I'm going to have to choose a, okay, I'm going to have to choose a team. Got it. Got it. How dare you throw away my Dr. Pepper. Hello, Aries the Eevee. Hello, ISF Jojo YT. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Okay, I realized that I may have made my game a little bit too big. There we go. Couldn't see my face. I was hiding behind the game. I'm doing good, Orville. How are you? You're tired, Aries. I get that. So apparently I have to choose a team to get conch shells, so I guess I'll just choose a random team. You got 11 splats today? Congratulations! You're sick. I've been having, because of the weather change, I've been having like sore throat, runny nose kind of stuff. So I understand that. <clears throat> Alright. I feel like Saturday's going to win. You renewed your Switch online so you can play with us a bit, Lewis? That's awesome! See, Sunday, none of those days are really relaxed days for me. Uh, well, actually, if you think about it, the whole week is not really a relaxed week for me. Because Sunday night, I start work at 10.30, and I, I work until Monday morning at 8.30. And I do that until Thursday morning at 8.30. So I always start work at 10.30 and then work until 8.30 in the morning. Um, Mondays and Tuesdays, I usually stream at 6 for you guys. Uh, and then Fridays, I usually stream at 8. And Saturdays, I usually stream at 7. Hello, Meow! Oh yeah, no, I'm not doing I'm not doing the live stream short mode yet. I want to figure it out. I want to figure it out before I actually do it. Hello, Oddball. Hello, Figgy the dog. So I really don't ever have any relaxing days. If I was gonna say what my favorite day was, no, we just started. I would say it was probably it's probably Thursday because that's the day I get off work and know that I have the weekend to chill and do my streams and stuff. Aw, thank you, Orville. No, I have not seen the Deadpool 3 trailer because I've never really been a Deadpool fan. So I don't really know much about Deadpool. I need to watch it because it looks interesting. But yeah. Here we go. Aye, aye! Breaking news, you two! Oh, what's got your fins a-flapping? Shiver! You ought to know. It's that time. I, I, Splatfest. Ahem. It's time for a Splatfest. Yeah, it's a Luna. I saw a Moe on it too. I'm not really looking forward to that. Oh, I'm glad you'll be able to do a couple rounds with me, Yubi. I'm not able to participate in the Splatfest either. That's during my celebrate my uncle's celebration of life. I don't think Splatoon 4 would come out that soon. Because they just released Splatoon 3 in 2022. Oh, is Ariana Grande going to be in Wicked? Nice. Ooh, I like a Splatfest. Yeah! Time to party! What's the theme? What's the theme? Aye, hold your seahorses. The info's still downloading. Where are you gonna go for vacation, Yubi, if you're okay sharing? 
I've got it. The theme is, huh, well, that is fascinating. Ugh, hurry up and spill it. You're hogging the Splatfest vibes. Ooh, Mexico. Make sure you don't drink the water down there. Make sure you're drinking bottled water while you're down there. But that's really cool. Chill. I'm getting ready to announce it. Ahem. Hello, Moose. Welcome to the stream. Aye, aye. Come on, come on. This idea kind of sucks. I agree. I don't really like any of the choices this time. Thank you for the hugs and head pats, Moose. Without further ado, this Splatfest theme will be none other than... Drum roll! Ba -da 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 -ba -da -da bam What's the best day of the weekend? What's the best day of the weekend? Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? Your weekends only have three days, huh? Huh. Oh. Okay, interesting. A weekend is best when it's fresh, so I say Friday. And no, I will not call it Friday. Fine by me. Everyone knows Saturday is where it's at on the weekend anyway. I, I. Am I the only one who likes Sunday? It's the perfect day to relax. You think weekends are for relaxing? There's so many better ways to use that time. I'm sorry, Figgy. I don't know. I don't really like any of them. I'll just see who has the best reasoning for liking what they like. And that's the one I'll pick. Aye, aye. Therefore, whatever you want, as long as it isn't more work. Which is why it can't be Friday. Whether it's work or school, Fridays are half boring. Yes, but that's what makes them great. That feeling when the clock ticks over. In an instant, the cares of the week are gone. The evening is all yours. I, I, all mine? When's the last time I tr got to pick what we did on a Friday? Okay, sure. Free evenings are cool, but you know what's better? I don't know who that person is, but okay. A whole free day. Saturdays are for doing whatever you want, no matter how weird. Remind me again what you actually do with all that free time on your Saturdays. Hello, Caleb! I know, right? Same. Don't throw out my ears and ice cream cake. Couldn't tell you. I forget them as soon as they happen. That's the point of Saturday. Aye, how great can Saturdays be if you never remember them? All right, then. What's so cool about Sundays? Let's hear... Th oh, wait. All right, then. What's so cool about Sundays? Let's hear the pitch. Aye, well, I usually spend my Fridays with you and Saturdays with the fam. Hello, light. I have not seen Princess Peach so time. I'm sorry, Moose. I hope you get to feeling better. Aye. And so I need a whole quiet Sunday to myself, just to recover. So, your idea of a good day on the weekend is just less stressful? Aye. Hey, you take your victories where you can get them. Boo! You can think bigger than that. That's no weekend. It's a week end. Don't worry. I plan big enough for us all. Every Friday. Which, again, is the best day. Nah, Saturday's what matters. You should see what I call breakfast on the weekend. I, I, nope. Sunday's the mic drop of the weekend. Big man out. <laughs> and that's all for now. Make sure to get your votes in. I, I, don't forget your Splatfest tea. Check the equipment menu after you vote. Meow, I am allowed to play whatever I want to play. This is my channel. If you want to play something different, then you go out and you make your own me your own YouTube channel, my friend. Easy as pie. I think I'm choosing uh, Saturday because that's actually the real day I get to usually relax because I do, like, my auditioning for voice acting and stuff. And uh, then I do uh, lines for projects I'm a part of, and then I also do streams. Hello, Ash! 
There was one Twitter user that I saw in a video for a slander video that made fan-made Valentine's Day Splatfest. Cards versus flowers versus chocolates. I would be chocolate all the way. I was wondering why people in Splatoon were saying 222. Well, now you know. It's pre-Friday, not actual Friday. It's technically my Friday. I'm sorry, Figgy. Hopefully you'll get to play with me again when we do Among Us again. Oh yeah, yeah, the side order things comes out 222. Yep. Yes, I just said chocolate. Do you remember the cat RPG you played? I forgot what it is called. Uh, you mean Cat Quest? Because I haven't played Stray on my channel yet. But if you're talking about Cat Quest, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I probably won't get that beaten because unfortunately I've got to go to a funeral to m on Saturday. So, you know. It happens. Friday and Saturday I won't be live, unfortunately, because I've got some stuff I gotta do. We're driving down to where the funeral is taking place and then, uh... Eating with a bunch of my family and then, you know... I want to buy Stray so bad. Nano has the physical copy at at her house, but I want to buy it for myself. I did not ever beat Cat Quest, but I did download it on my Switch so that I can try and beat it again eventually. But we got to the point in Splatfa or into Cat Quest where it was basically I had to grind to get to the next part. I don't plan on buying Mario vs. Donkey Kong. It looks interesting, but I just don't plan on buying it. Alright. Blush Blush replaced Cat Quest. No, Blush Blush was just a random thing I played because I wanted to play it one day. That's, that's pretty much the only reason. So yeah, I'm going with Saturday because that's when I get to do like my voice acting and my projects. And that's usually when I find out whether I got a part that I'm really interested in or not. So, Saturday. Plus, it's Fry. And Fry deserves way more love. Fry deserves way more love than Fry gets. Uh, I need to go to equip. Woohoo! Love it! Catterday! Uh, I'm gonna try to play it, but like I said, I have no idea how much time I'll have to play it because Friday is pretty much we're going down to have supper with family and then Saturday is gonna be the celebration of life uh, for my uncle. And so, yeah, I don't know whether I'll get to play it or not. Well, that was a boring draw. Right, well, let's just, uh... Oh, I still have an active effect, so I'm just gonna deal with that for now. Alright, if anybody wants to join once I get into my first battle, feel free to hop in. Hello, Mango Ninja! Welcome to the stream! I decided on Saturday, even though I don't really get to play this Splatfest this weekend. At least not live, unfortunately. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry, Ash. There's no way. Not with the fact that the next two days is basically gonna be focused on family time. Yeah, you're right. I could stay up late. Well, it, de it depends on how early we have to get there for the celebration li of life. Because, like, Friday, um... I'm not sure when we're leaving Friday to go eat with the family. Um, but 
the celebration of life is on Saturday, and so I don't know if I'll get to play any Splatfest this weekend. The Sunday is usually the day that I could play it if I wanted to, but it ends up being a thing where I also have to sleep because I gotta go to work that night. Oh, jeez! Oh, man! Barely got... Barely dodged that. I have not played Persona, but I have watched people play Persona. It looks like a really interesting game. Guys go to parties, the disco. Uh, I am not sure what I'm playing next live. Next live should be on Monday. Um, so we will probably be playing, uh, Pokemon. And continuing to fill out the Blueberry Pokedex. Gotcha, bub. Ha ah ha! Get out of our, our home. Jeez. Ugh. Forget that I don't have freaking... I forget that I don't have freaking uh, Ninja Squid right now. Uh, well, 8 o'clock your time, I'm assuming, because it's 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for me. But for you, I think it's 8, because anytime you come on, you say it's 8. I see an ink wall, and I don't want to deal with that. Death right now. Hello, Huggy Wuggy. How have you been? Ha uh ha. -huh. In a bind. Do what you gotta do. I was stuck against the wall, so I had to do what I gotta do. Ah, dang it. Hello, Pink Gotcha Berry. Me and my Ash Ketchum figure say hi. Well, hello to both of you. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already. Feel free to subscribe if you want to. You joined the match? Awesome. I'll see you in a minute then, Caleb. Oh, yeah. Childish streamer team. We did it. If you're in my base, I squid bag you. If I don't know who you are and you're in my base, I'm gonna squid bag. You're joining? Okay, Lewis, no worries. Howdy, hey, Angel Cakes, because that's my way of saying you need to get out of base. <laughs> that's my way of saying, hey, yo, you're you need to stay a little further away. I don't it's not me being toxic it's me basically being like yo you are too close to where i spawn would you like me to squid bag you erd moose ird moose er, i said erd moose again oh my gosh i am like ugh. I'm doing well. I'm at San Francisco hanging out butts. Oh, that's awesome, Angel Cakes. Well, I hope you're having fun. Poor game called Amanda the Adventurer. I've never played it. I've watched it. I already know everything that happens, and I know how to get, like, all the secrets and everything. So me playing it on my channel would be null and void because none of my reactions would be genuine. Rhea the Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that, Angel Cakes. Oh my goodness. Oh my darling. Why am I singing? 
my darling Clementine. Where did that even come from? So I saw really sad news that pissed me off the other day. So like if anybody had seen the first like season of Goosebumps on Disney Plus, it was so freaking good. And the teacher actor dude was amazing. Well then, Disney decided the second season of Goosebumps is just gonna be the stories that Goosebumps had just like uh, back in the 90s. And yeah, I, I was mad. So they literally fired all the actors from Goosebumps season one and are starting with a whole new roster of actors. It made me so mad because the cliffhanger of the first season is basically Slappy the Dummy takes over the teacher. So he had been taken over by a kid who had lived in the house long ago. He finally got that kid out and then Slappy the Dummy took him over. Jeez! I probably will not be playing Amanda the Adventurer as a live because like I said, my my reactions wouldn't be genuine because I already know how to play it and I know how to beat it. And I know how to get like all the secret tapes. So yeah, I'm sorry. I probably won't be playing that live. The voice of Olaf was in the Beauty and the Beast remake? Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, back in the 90s, like, they could get away with atrocious acting just because it was such a popular series for kids. Pretty much every book fair, I would buy myself a new Goosebumps book. <laughs> he wasn't a foe. Yeah, I've been- I haven't played Cuphead in a hot minute. Okay. People getting desperate, I see. Because I can't beat the level. Grim Matchstick is the one I'm having trouble beating. Yeah, the Omar Ermagard Goosebumps. Goosebumps. I mean, I didn't like the live action remake, so maybe it's just a generational thing. You and I both come from different generations. Well, I wouldn't squid bag you on purpose, oddball. Like, if I know who you are, I'm not going to squid bag you. But I do suggest that you stay out of, uh, out of the place where... Because there's like three places you can spawn in the area. And sometimes there's people just sitting there waiting for people to spawn. 11 spots for you? Heck yes. Glad to hear you're happy today. THPS 1 and 2. Lots of nostalgia and cursing. Good times. Fairy Proto! Oh my gosh. Does placing squid beacons in the enemy base count as spawn camping? Yes, because people can jump to said beacons and spawn camp. So yeah, that is spawn camping. Even if you're not there, you make it where it's almost impossible for people to get out of their base. How did the crab not die?
honestly, you need to make sure that while we're playing together that you don't because the whole point of us playing Splatoon is playing as friends, so it doesn't really matter which team wins. All that matters is that we have fun. But squid bagging doesn't make anything fun if someone- or not squid bagging. If someone is spawn camping, it doesn't make anything fun because you can't even get out to the middle of the map. That's not considered spawn camping when you lock onto someone via tenon missiles because when you do tenon missiles, you don't know they're at their base. You just see the little targets, and once you see the target amount you want, you launch the tenon missiles. It's kind of like just like using your special zip line. It's not undead. It's not considered uh, spawn camping, especially because you can go up to the base and then you can go back away from the base. Spawn camping is basically literally sitting in a place where no matter where we go, we can't escape not getting shot at. I guess that's the easiest way to put it for people that don't really know. I try not to spawn camp during Splatfest unless it's in a hundred times, a ten times, or a three 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 times battle. Ah, death! Those are the only times you'll ever see me spawn camping in Splatfest because you really don't have to spawn camp in Splatfest. People just do it. And it doesn't make Splatfest fun when people spawn camp during regular matches that don't give you any extra clout anyway. Good game, guys! I would get Splatoon 3 because Pokemon Violet, you're gonna have to spend another 30 bucks to get all the DLC on it. Alright, Aries. See you later. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out, and we will see you soon. No, you don't need to spawn camp in Tricolor Turf War either. The only place you need to be in Tricolor Turf War is if you're the defending team and you don't want people to take the signal. Once both signals are taken then all you gotta do is just go run around and try to ink as much of the map as possible before the time runs out. Why was I born? Because there, there's a purpose to life and everybody's born for a reason? I know how to dodge roll with dualies, but I barely dodge roll with them because I only do it when I need to. Like, if you want, if you, I, I just, I, I use it strategically because you can only go, like, twice before you can't dodge roll again. See, look, you can only go, like, twice before you can't dodge roll again. So I try to use it strategically where if I need to dodge roll, I can, but I don't always dodge roll because there's no point. I have certain situations where I will dodge roll, but other than that... Oh, jeez. I kind of jump up there, but I ended up dodge rolling instead. <laughs> For me, it's all about strategy. When is the best time to dodge roll? One of my favorite times to dodge roll is when I'm trying to get behind the person shooting at me. Welcome back. I saw! I saw they're adding a new type of dualies. And I'm excited. Okay, this is stupid. That's stupid. I 
couldn't even get anywhere. saw there I dodge rolled backwards because I saw that they were coming at me and I could tell their range wasn't gonna reach me there's different it, it I know how to dodge roll I just don't use it very often I don't want to be one of those people that dodge roll all the time because that gets really frustrating oh boy I need to move Ah, I was trying to dodge roll behind them, but I didn't make it. During the handshake versus fist bump versus hug slap fest, I managed to shoot at least 50% of the map and try Clover World as an attacking team. Well, that's good, but you don't have to do that. I know you're more of a ranked player, but like, honestly, splat fest, you don't really need to be a ranked player for. Though. Oh, is it 10, 10 o'clock for you? It's only 7.30 for me. I didn't realize you were that far ahead of me in time. Oh, it's not 10 for you. Okay. I don't know because I haven't really thought of that. I haven't really thought of that. I try not to... It, it's kind of like when I play video games that I'm playing for fun. I don't really watch the trailers, you know? I hear about it via Twitter, but I don't really watch the trailers. Because I don't want to get spoiled on what the game is about. I want to have as genuine reactions as possible to said game. You guys have dial-up still? I didn't even know dial-up still existed. What? Or are you just calling it dial-up because it's lagging so much? Hello, Starfay! Welcome to the stream! Oh my goodness. Once the new season comes, there will be only one empty slot left for maps. Really? I didn't know they had like a maximum slot that they could do with maps. That sucks. I got charged up to do my uh, splash down. Yeah, you have to get your the four your color to win. But along the way, you also have to splat other people who are trying to kill you because they want to get your four their color. Hello, Agile! I don't think I said hi when I saw you. There we go. 
There's 22 maps total and 10 of them are maps added in major updates when a new season begins. Well, I mean, Splatoon 2 had more maps than that. If you add all the shifty stages. Yeah, you can join Nintendo Gamer Kid. Come on in. If you have me added as a friend, you should be able to join me right now because I'm in the middle of a match. And find me. Hello, Cool Breeze! It goes well! How are you, my friend? See you later, Meow. Thank you so much for hanging out. Hit that like button on your way out and I will see you later. No, because now they can be played whenever you're in private battles, so I still count them. I would still count them, because that tells you about how much space there is, so I think that there might be more space than maps than what you're thinking. Just chillin'? I gotcha. for dinner but I don't want to get my lazy butt off the couch I get that feel so bad well you know you're not going to win all the time it happens but if it's getting you heated maybe take a break from the game for a bit Aw, you, you got to do some meme cards with your partner. I didn't really do anything for Valentine's Day. And I forgot to go to Walmart today and get half-priced chocolate. Ugh. So yeah, I, uh, yeah. I don't have a significant other, and all my friends live far, far away, so I don't get anything amazing for Valentine's Day. How sad. I actually really don't care. I think Valentine's Day is one of the stupidest holidays out there, and its only purpose is to get people to spend mass amounts of money so that they can spoil their significant other and feel special when people that are single do not get Valentine's Day stuff. Very good win streak, being 10 wins in a row. Nice! Thing was reef slider. <laughs> There's not much left for Splatoon 1. Is it harder to get matched up in Splatoon 1 lobbies now? Now that people know that in April it's pretty much not going to be able to be played anymore. I haven't played Splat in a while, although I did fire it up last week, and surprisingly I wasn't rusty. 
Like, no matter how long I'm away from it, as soon as I come back, it's like riding a bike. Yeah, I know. Same. Oh, whoa. Yeah, I don't like Valentine's Day, but wait a second. Half price chocolate day is better than Black Friday and Cyber Monday put together. That's how I feel. Half price Christmas food day is better than both of those being put together. Ah! Get off of me. like Bueno. I used to really like Ferrar Rocher, but now that I have dentures, it's really hard to eat Ferrar Rocher because they've got those big... Oh, gosh. Moose, I'm gonna get you. I, I know I'm gonna get you when I'm about to say what I'm about to say. They've got the big nuts in them. And it hurts to bite down with my dentures on the nuts. I like chocolate and memes. They want to play as much of it as they can. Yeah, well, that's good. And I get that. Oh, I got a new sticker! Moose clip that ha Moose, no! That stuff shows up on my, my YouTube page now. How are you, Ninoic? Welcome to the stream. Huh, clipped what? I love the big nuts. I wish I could still eat Ferrar Rocher, because it is really good. Really good candy. But I have to settle with Bueno and Lindor now. Whoop! Oh yeah, you can't join in. I'm sorry, Figgy. Hopefully we'll play a game you can join in with us on soon. Call them feral roaches. Ew, why? What made you think they were roaches? I saw the shark plushie. It's adorable. I love it. Next month when we get big run, what map do you think it'll be on? I don't know, but I would love it if it was on Wahoo World again. Because, holy cow, that was so fun when it was on Wahoo World. Wahoo World is one of my favorite maps. And I would love to have Big Run on it again. But I'm trying to think of the pattern that we've gotten so far. Dang it. I get to eat the most amazing meal ever once I'm done streaming. Like, chef's kiss, most amazing meal ever. I get to eat chicken. Chicken teriyaki chow mein noodles. Oh yeah. Best meal ever. Just chef's kiss all the way on that. We still yet to have a big run on a Splatoon 1 map. Yeah, they may do that. They may put it on a Splatoon 1 map. Yum yum. Well, I was originally gonna eat um, Tex-Mex and... Uh, Tex-Mex and it's like a mixture of beans and a bunch of uh, fruits or a bunch of vegetables but I left it at work <laughs> so now I just have to eat the chow mein noodles 
You're okay, no worries, Yubi. Preparing for vacation is important. Having a vacation is important. We all need vacations every once in a while. Just, you know. I totally get that. Here we go again on our own. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. Ah! Good night, Yubi. Good luck getting prepared for your vacation. 10 likes, that's awesome. Let's see if we can't make it more. Because I'm pretty sure there's more than 10 people in here. I've actually seen more than 10 people come through here. Honestly though, the biggest thing YouTube is looking at now is watch time. So if you stay through the whole stream, even if you're not watching it, YouTube will be like, ooh, the average view duration is amazing. Maybe we should uh, start recommending your stuff more. Good game, guys. Ooh, I've only got two more coins left. And then I gotta back out, which, I mean, it's almost 8 o'clock, so maps and modes are gonna update in a minute anyway, but... Hopefully we can get these two coin-ups done. All these lockers. This one's caught my eye. Cali cat. I want says Z on it. <laughs> yeah, I know, and that's okay, Figgy. There'll be other times we play games that you'll have. I want to play Pokemon Unite again soon. I haven't played Pokemon Unite in a long time. And that's a free-to-play game. Um, pretty sure Fall Guys is free-to-play. I might be wrong on that, though. And if I ever hit 3,000 subscribers, I get to play Fortnite. Why'd you delete it? Keep it downloaded because I'll probably play it eventually. I haven't played it in a long time and I miss playing it. Also, Ninjala is one I haven't played in a while. And even though the pay to win thing sucks, I miss playing it. Saving it for when I pinch or when there's a big thingy orange that needs to be taken off the board. I'm stuck. I couldn't move. <laughs> it was impossible? It takes a while to learn. I can prove to you it's not impossible, though. Easily prove to you it's not impossible. We'll take a quick break after I run... After I get the last coin. And I'll play I'll play a match on Pokemon Unite to prove to you it's not impossible. You just have to know what you're doing. Mahi Mahi Resort was the next big run map. I would cry. I would not be a happy camper. I'd be very, very sad. I 
absolutely hate Mahi Mahi. It has interrupted my Splatoon 3 games too many times to count. Yeah, I picked Team Saturday, but unfortunately I'm not really gonna get to do the Splatfest or anything, cause I've got my uncle's celebration of life ceremony on Saturday. And uh, we also are, you know, hanging out with friends and family Friday and Sunday. So yeah, I won't be able to do much with it currently. I mean, I'll try to play it a couple times, but it's it's not gonna be not gonna be amazing. You went with Friday. I went with Saturday because that's when I do like my voice acting auditions usually, and also when I stream the longest is Saturday, or I try to stream. Actually, Friday I try to stream the longest, but Saturday I also try to stream fairly long as well. Good game, guys. You have to go in a few minutes, Figgy. Okay, no worries. I appreciate it, Orville. I mean, we kind of knew it would probably be happening. He's had can He had had cancer for 16 years. It just... I was not expecting to get a text about it at work at 5 in the morning. <laughs> Right before I had to actually start doing things at work. <laughs> That's what makes I swear, Luna, if you are peeing or pooping in that bag, I'm gonna be mad. I hear you scratching on it. I will still never forget the time when my mom... Oh. Yeah, I can't even imagine. I cannot even imagine. I've not lost a parent yet, but losing a parent sounds terrifying. I, I am really, like, losing appearance sounds terrifying. And an unfortunate thing about my family is pretty much everybody on my dad's side of the family either passes away from cancer or heart issues. And then my mom's side of the family, um, my, my mom's dad passed away from a heart attack. I wasn't able to use my wild card, oh well. But that's why I always say put friends and fam like put family and friends first before you come to streams. Because you never know when the last day is gonna be. You know? And I mean that goes for me too, like I could end up having my last day tomorrow. We don't know. But I'd rather you be more Trying to spend as much time with family and friends as you can than worrying about, you know, your favorite streamer's last day, you know what I mean? You gotta go, Figgy! See you later! Have a good night! Yep, I'll see you on Monday around 7 p.m. Central Time. Central Standard Time. What the heck?
There we go. Whee! Oh my gosh, that was so close. Good game, guys. Good game. I'm going to back out of the room so I can get my catalog stuff and use my conch shells to gamble. Ew, I don't like cheese. Like, I hate cheese. I can't stand cheese. I think it's so gross. Eh. Boring. Oh, hey! Your catalog level went up. Here's your reward. Okay, cool. Thanks. I'll be able to do it. I'll figure it out. Hello, Shaker! Welcome to the stream. I will figure it out. See, I've already got Fortnite on my... I've already got Fortnite here. Cool. For if... We hit 3,000 subscribers, which we never will. Ever. Has that one been updated? Okay. Oh. No, it hasn't. What about Among Us? That's fine. Oh, I bet Disney Dreamlight Valley's been updated since I last played it. Oh, I got the latest version. Okay. Like the stream if you're enjoying it. Indeed. If you're having fun, like the stream. I think Sandrock is on the Switch. Um, actually, it's on sale on the PS5. But I just, I don't have the money right now. I kind of overspent at the Comic-Con. Just a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna go put this on my locker. There they are. Oh yeah! Totally not a dually main. I wouldn't be able to stream that long. I know enough about myself to know that I wouldn't be able to stream that long. one's cute. Um, random ass cell phone. <laughs> I was throwing shit in here for no reason at this point while we wait for the maps and modes to update. Uh, let's see what other small thing I can fit in there. Oh, look, it's another keychain. Wee! 
Oh no, the keychain covered the cell phone. What? Ah! Oh no! <laughs> no! No, 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 no! <laughs> that was not on purpose. I need you. There we go. To not cover the cell phone. I highly doubt I'd be able to get them within two hours. Because the, 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 the fact of the matter is, not many people see my stuff right now. Because I'm still considered a small YouTuber. And so the only way that my stuff gets seen is if people end up, like, watching through a whole live stream. Or, uh... Liking, because that's what that's what YouTube looks at. It looks at view view counts, how many view counts you get, how many likes you get, and things like that. What time is it? Isn't it time for maps and modes to update? Oh, I guess not. I'ma get. Let me get this. Of course! But then also, even if I were to stream, if I get to 3k subs, the streams ends. I would not do any 3k sub celebration until about a week later. Because a lot of times people will subscribe just to get you to 3k subs. And then they'll unsubscribe. Which is fine. I mean, I can stream. I've streamed 15. I stream, what was it? On my birthday, I streamed a long time. It's not too, too hard. You just have to make sure you've got plenty of uh, breathing time, time to rest, and, you know, break time, and time to stand up and stretch and stuff like that. I mean, that might happen, but right now, my channel hasn't really been being found much by people, which, you know, I don't really care. Because I kind of play, like, I just play for fun. But getting to 3k subs, I mean, I started in 2018 and I'm only at 2.8k. So, I'm not even getting, like, very many subs a year. Or, I mean, a month. Very many subs a month. You get bored, like, very easy. I wouldn't get... See, I don't get bored streaming because I'm playing... I'm playing games and chatting and talking with people. I don't know why that song is in my head. I have not watched Enchanted in ages. I don't know where the song came from. Everybody's looking for Blue's Clues and you. Come on in. Blue's Clues and you. <laughs> I am still so thankful I got to meet Steve this weekend. Such a genuinely nice guy. Legit, man. Around the campfire. No, I don't want to gather around the campfire and sing a campfire song. I want to sing Blues, Clues, and You. Come on in, come on in. Blues, Clues, and You. For anybody who has not seen my live stream about my time at the Missouri Comic Con, you should definitely check it out. Welcome to the stream! I don't know if you watch my live stream, but Spirit, I wanted to let you know that one of the wrestlers that was at the Missouri Comic Con was Kane. And then there was another wrestler, but I can't remember what his name was. It is our C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song song.
Grab this. You caught up with it earlier today? Nice. How dare you call me mad over confidence, Cool Breeze? How dare. I now am going to target you because you called me mad over confidence. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Oh man, it was one of the best weekends I've had in a long time. And there were so many good people there. Like, it, it had better people than AWA did when I went to AWA in 2019. And AWA's a pretty darn big one. But I didn't know a lot of the people at AWA. Not me? Okay, cool. Good game, guys. Um, I don't know because I don't look for that. Like, I, I don't, I don't look and see if I can find people who have autism. I just treat everybody like a person, which is what you're supposed to do. That's how life works. So I have no idea. Or you can do what your damn parent says. <laughs> yeah, I, I was confused at that question too. Like, I'm not gonna be... When I go to Comic-Cons, I don't look... I don't look around and say, Oh, well that person's got Down Syndrome, or... I can tell that person has... That's not my judgment call. You treat people like people. That's... That's what you do. Even if you can tell they're socially awkward, you still treat them like people. That was just a weird- it was just a weird question. I wouldn't know if I met an autistic person because honestly, the thing about autism is you don't always know. Yeah. And not only that, but autism is a spectrum- it's like a spectrum disorder. So... Like, high-functioning people who have high-functioning function, autism, you know, they're, it's not going to be obvious. People who have low-functioning autism, they're probably not going to be at the Comic-Con because it would cause too many issues. Uh, like, I just don't, I, that, that just really threw me off. I'm sorry. That is a really weird question. And I say that, but even then, like, high-functioning autism, people who have high-functioning autism, I mean, yeah, they end up also being to the point where they're like, I can't handle any more social, social stuff, you know, and things like that. But, no, I just look at everybody as a person. I don't really pay attention. I honestly don't pay attention to anything. I don't pay attention to, like, ethnicity, background, race, religion. I just see everybody as a person. I'm just like, oh, I love your cosplay. You know? I, I, it's, yeah, I, I don't know. That was, that just kind of threw me off. I'm not saying it's a bad question. It's just one of those questions It's like, why would you be looking for that, I guess? you're at a Comic-Con. Because to me, everybody at the Comic-Con is one big family of people who are nerds who like things like Star Trek and manga and anime and cosplay. That's what a Comic-Con is. It's like a big family. So why would I look for someone with autism? I am so confused. But 
I mean, you can ask questions about Comic-Con. I'm not discouraging asking questions. Just be... <laughs> Hop in here. Nice. I appreciate you coming in, Spirit. But yeah, just any questions you have. I answered a lot of questions in my Missouri Comic-Con uh, live stream. Because I got to meet Steve Burns. Yeah, I understand that. I get that, but... And I'm not saying 100% this is true, but I don't think a lot of people who have autism would want to go to an event like that. Oh, the thump! The fist bump! Good game, everybody. But that doesn't mean they don't, you know? It's not starting drama. It was just a weird question. I was just confused why it even came up. Fifteen like hype? Heck yes. Thank you guys. Try to hit 20 likes before the end of the night. Another thing to think about Nintendo Gamer Kid too is people who are autistic, it's not always obvious that they're autistic. So you might have met people who are autistic and not even known it. You know? Because depending on where they are on the spectrum, and even, even then, it's just not always obvious. Autism is not a black and white thing where everybody shows the same symptoms, you know what I mean? hit by that wall the first time I hated it. I didn't like the way it made the game look. I am not a god at Mahi Mahi or Rainbow Road. Ah! Rip me! A melon slime got me. Yeah, I'd rather die than run into one of those screen things. And I think they might have, I think they might have ch changed it a little bit, but when it first came out, it really messed with my head when I ran into one. Cause like everything was like black and white and just, it, it, it looked really, I hated it. So now, anytime I see it, I don't want nothing to do with it because of the black and white. Well, that's cool. I'm sorry you're doing bad, though. I wish- I hope we can help you feel better and happy. Still harmful for others. Yeah, I just- I won't even touch it because I don't want to accidentally give anybody watching the stream any reason to have any kind of adverse reactions to it. Boy, oh boy. Ah! Okay. Whee! Alright, we're... Good game, guys. Don't know what we got, but good game. Yeah, I don't think that we won. My team didn't win. Aw, well, thank you, Simply Bored. I'm trying my hardest to be as wholesome as possible. 
I really do, I really do try to accept everybody here, you know. I want people to know they're accepted for who they are. I want people to know that the most important thing is just to be themselves. And I also like to spread love and positivity. That's kind of what I do on this channel. So yeah, I'm glad you're feeling a little better. Sorry it started off kind of a bad day though. And if anybody wants to join, just add me as a friend and you and I'll uh, back out and get you added and we can you can play with us. Queen stuff. Yeah. Speaking of Queen, I'm assuming Queen Luna is sitting on the chair here. Yep. Oh, she has bit my foot. She's like, you leave me alone, foot! <laughs> Bye, I'm dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, the week has been crazy with weather here. And so I've had like a sore throat and a runny nose and everything. Because like it gets really super cold at night. And it's still pretty super cold in the morning. I did that again. Always get tricked by that. Um, but then it like warms up to like 70 or 80 degrees. And so like I have trouble sleeping because I end up sweating. Because of that. Whoa, 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 ah! And then it gets cold again, and so I end up waking up in the middle of the night whenever I'm staying the night at my house and having to adjust the thermostat. Um, because I have... I did it again. I always get tricked by that. I have a, uh... I have... The way my character is dressed is kind of like the way I want people to it's kind of like uh, showing people who I am without them really knowing like anybody that's ever been on one of my streams will know that I usually wear well at least for Splatoon 3 I usually wear the schoolgirl outfit with the pink boots and the crown and Splatoon 2 if anybody saw somebody with a crown and uh, blue moto boots and the Anaki yellow cup, they would know it was me without having to actually see my name. So it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like, you know, my YouTube logo, sorta. It's just the way that people know it's me. But that's, that's a really good question. It's a really good question. Because, yeah, the only time I'll change outfits is during Splatfest. Shit. <laughs> I was, like, not even shooting at them. I guess you could call it a calling card. I guess is what you could call it. I do that with a lot of my multiplayer games. You'll notice that I always, always, always use Baby Princess Peach. Good game, guys. Good game. Baby Princess Peach with the Yoshi bike and the purple wheels. Whenever I play Mario Kart, um, you notice I always have the pink. I always am the color pink when I play uh, Among Us. Things like that. I always, I always, uh main Dragonite when I play Pokemon Unite. It's a weird thing and probably nobody even really notices, but for me it's kind of nice. 
because there's so many good choices of outfits out there, but having to build them up in a way that is actually decent for the stuff I'm trying to do is really hard because you have to have so many ability chunks, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, unless someone tells me, hey, look at what I'm wearing. I'm role-playing as such and such. Which I know is weird. And I'm sorry, but usually I'm so focused on the game that I don't really pay attention to what outfits people are wearing. Feel free to subscribe if you're new. You put on a different outfit every new match? Dang. I will be breaking the room after this to get that friend request that just came in. So those of you that are playing, the room is going to be broken after this, uh, this match. camper. Woo! Dang! They all had their, their sights on me. You change your profile pic once a month. See, I never change my profile pic. Because I think that the me that I made represents me so well. Like, it looks exactly like me. But dang. All right, I'm breaking the room to get this friend request. You're heavy into fashion, so that's your excuse. See, I'll buy all the outfits and I'll buy all the weapons, but I just usually tend to wear one outfit. If they ever bring back my Anaki Anaki Yellow Cuff, it's gonna it's gonna be my outfit, but instead of the schoolgirl uniform. What I get? Oh, ink resistance up. Cool beans. Alright, I'm breaking the room so I can get this friend request. Gotcha, added Ingo. Perfect profile pick for February is your character wearing the team loves Splatfest tea. Aw, that does sound really cute. I think I leveled up too. I might be wrong, but I think I leveled up, so let me get my catalog stuff. Yeah, I did. I leveled up. Ooh, I got a red! I got a banner! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, here we go. I got a new title, Running Rank. Hi, 
I just want a gold or a silver. Why? No, I'm not going to be putting Ninja Squid on the, the Splatfest tee because I don't want to waste my ability chunks for something that's not going to stick every time I get a new Splatfest happens. That's stupid to me. I'll keep my I'll keep my ability chunk so I can build up a good a good uh outfit for certain things. You haven't seen that banner yet? Really? Oops. I need to actually change up my banner. You put quick respawn on your Splatfest key and when Splatfest is about to be done, I put an ability that I don't care much about. There we go, that's what I was wanting. Harmony always looks mad anxious. It's like a little girl just running. I want this one. This one's cool. Oh, I just noticed there's another thing. Wait, wait. Oh, I thought I saw, I thought I saw another, oh, the titles. Yeah, I'm not going to deal with those. Hello, Freddy! All right, here we go. I swapped to whatever I have the most chunks for at the end. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm saving up my chunks. I'm not going to use them on, uh... On the Splatfest tee when you just have to turn it back. Is that a unicorn headband on you? It is a unikitty headband. It's, it's got the... It's got the kitty ears. And then the unicorn horn. Oh, okay, sorry. I had to stretch. J what now I've got now I've got freaking JG Wentworth stuck in my head. At JG Wentworth 877 cash now Oh my gosh my life That would it would make me Unikitty Angel Spawn camper. Name pancakes. Waffles are better than pancakes. Okay, we gotta get that. We gotta figure out where they hid the thing. I saw it hiding somewhere. Where did they hide it? Oh, they hide it right there. Dang it. You like French toast? French toast is good. I like French toast too. Yes, I was on Team Waffles. You know why? Because waffles, you can add peanut butter and stuff too, and it's super yummy. Ha ha, get out of my spawn. Get out of spawn. 
rude. Mm. Waffles, pancakes, French toast. Why does that sound familiar? Don't know. Tastes as good. When you put it on your waffles, like you can put a whole bunch on there. Oh, you are you kidding me, aren't you? You've got to be shitting me. It's people just staying in spawn. What is up with why do people think they have to spawn camp to win? That is so frustrating. Play it like a regular match. This ain't no times 333 battle or ranked mode. Holy cow. Golly, that is ridiculous. Go back to ranked mode if you're gonna spawn camp, for real. I know that's mean to me, I'm mean. And I get salty, but when they're right there where as soon as I jump out of spawn, I'm getting shot at, that's not cool. They don't to me. Pancakes and waffles don't taste the same to me. Now that's how I feel right now. Ah! No, the old spawn system was even worse because people would just stand at the spot and shoot at it so that no one could leave it. This spawn system, at least you get a little bit of a chance to get out to not get stuck in the spot. I don't want to hit that. Ouch. Yeah, the old spawn system was not great. Did you farm specials? I mean, yeah, but what's the point of farming specials because you're stuck in your spawn, you're not gonna get anywhere. So no point in having a special. Hello Zay, how have you been my friend? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, but even when you throw your sub weapons, what are the chances that it's gonna hit any of the people that are standing around spawn, keeping you blocked in? There's, it, it's, it's like a one in a million chance. Because you'll throw your sub weapons, they'll see it coming at them and they're gonna dodge it. 
<laughs> yeah, Spirit makes a good point. Let me just keep throwing my ink mines. Oh, wait. If I'm on spawn and I'm throwing ink mines, the ink mines are on spawn. So the enemy is not going to end up getting hit by the ink mines. A... A Bert? No? Yeah, you can join! Feel free to join, Simply Board. You're good. I have no idea who that is. Where the frick are you? Oh, that's not cool, man. That is not cool. I will find out who you are. You know better. If you're on if you're on my stream, you know better. Yeah, don't do that. That's worse than spawn camping. That is worse than spawn camping. Standing right over the place where we spawn? That's not cool. I wish they would implement a penalty for spawn camping. I mean, there's not much of a penalty I can do except call the person out on stream and tell them don't do it again. But if they're. That's not gonna solve the issue. No, that was- that was ridiculous. And you should know better. You've been here long enough to know that you do not need to be right in the camp. Where you can shoot everybody as they spawn? Really? Oh, Qbert. Yes, I do know Qbert. I used to play Qbert all the time as a kid. I get on someone's team I carry. Well, that's awesome, Zay. Should totally join us. I didn't see if you joined or not, so. <laughs> Fell for it again, but I was gonna die anyway, so it doesn't matter. language. I don't even think- I think it needs to be if you're in the enemy spawn for at least three seconds and you're not doing anything or or if you're just sitting and- oh again. I think 10 seconds is way too lenient. I'd say do 3 seconds. If they don't move from enemy spawn within 3 seconds, then they get blown up. That's what I would do. Because 10 seconds still gives them plenty of time to wipe out the whole entire team while they're sitting in spawn camp. Ha! 
how would he eat? I'm guessing Hubert would eat food similar to how he ate in the movie Pixels. I don't know. I'm not sure. I never really thought of that because I always thought that the long thing was his nose. I never thought of it as a mouth. I always thought the long thing was his nose. Good game, guys. Oh, I agree. Splatfest definitely needs it. I mean, except for, except for, I still feel like the only way you can win a hundred times and ten times battles and three, three, three times battles is to be a spawn camper. I shouldn't have to feel that way. Because Splatfest is supposed to be fun. Well, the Rainmaker timer was only ten seconds and I would only want like three seconds of people just... If people are just sitting here and every time someone spawns shooting and they don't move from the area, like, there should be a, a cutoff. So let's say right here, this is the enemy base. Anything on that area until you go down that ramp to the floor, if you're there for longer than three seconds, you get exploded. Kaboom! I was like, I might just do it for dumb reasons. I think I have two dualies now that are at five star. The rest of mine are at four star. Except for these ones, because these ones just recently came out. Um, but I just got my three star sticker for these ones, so that's exciting. I'll get my four star soon. Hitting five stars with with the weapons it takes so long though because you have to get so much ink like a million something ink it's ridiculous since most depictions of Hubert makes it his mouth. I have an actual stuffed animal from back when Hubert was first released in arcades. And it is not a mouth, it is a nose. And he used to be able to squeeze his nose and it would squeak at you. Yes, was so painful to grind five stars, yeah. Yeah, I don't like when people turn battles into, uh, or battles into squid parties. The only time I allow that is if you notice the other team has a disconnect and the timer is already passed where, uh, it will disconnect everybody. Then I'm like, fine, just squid party, have fun. But that's the only time I will ever, ever let there be squid party. That, cause that makes it so that everybody has the same advantage.
Good game, guys! Oh, I got all gold. I just leveled up again. Keep going. I have at least three duallys, five star. Nice, eh? I haven't gotten that far yet. But most of my duallys are four star. Oh, wow. We got a full room. Sam I am. Best name ever. Random fact for anybody who doesn't know, the first book I ever actually read by myself was Green Eggs and Ham when I was five years old. I was sitting in the doctor's office and I was reading Green Eggs and Ham. Your blue apples are almost five? Heck yes. I am Sam. I am Sam. Sam I am. Sam I am. That's Sam I am. That's Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a box? Would you like them with the fox? I would not like them in a box. I would not like them with a fox. Oh, I forgot to do here or there. I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Yeah, I know. I'm weird. I have some weird stuff memorized. Oh my gosh, I'm still alive somehow. I don't know how I was still alive there. Which is why everybody that knows I've been learning languages, one of the books they try to get me in, in the languages I'm learning is Green Eggs and Ham. So I've got like a Spanish Green Eggs and Ham. I want to get a Japanese Green Eggs and Ham. I think I have a German Green Eggs and Ham. <laughs> um, so yeah. Foam Stars has already defeated Splat 3. Really? I saw Foam Stars and I put it on my list to download uh, yesterday, but then I got stuck play. I was playing Bloodstained and I really got into Bloodstained for a while on PS5. But I did see that it had been released. And that you could get it for free with the PS5 Plus membership or whatever. <sighs> sort of crashed and burned. <laughs> I wanted to. I want to play it just to see what it's like. But I mean, it's really hard to match up to Splatoon 3 because Splatoon 3. Is one of my favorite Splatoon titles. Not gonna lie. And I say that because they added so much uh, personalization of your character into it that they didn't have in Splatoon 2 or 1. Like the banners, like uh, the titles you choose, things like that, your walkers. I love games with a lot of, like, customization and personalization in them. I will check it out. I need to download it first. I just put it on my two playlists, and I gotta download it before I can actually play it. I was playing Bloodstained Ritual last night. Good game, guys! Well, as it worked. 
And then I got to this point where I got to this, uh... Hello, Silver! Welcome to the stream! You're totally not tired? If you gotta go to bed, I totally understand. Um, but no, I got to the point where I got to the first boss, and it was like a mermaid with tentacles and big boobs. Because others day it isn't good doesn't mean that yeah yeah that's right it could be fun you never know it could be fun womp 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 Let's go. Match us up. Why is it taking so long? There we go. Well, I hope you get good sleep. I hope you get a good sleep. It can be hard to sleep sometimes. I get that. Oh, birds, yeah. Birds will wake you up, really. I, I get that, too. We hate the sun, but much we know. That's kind of cool how I kind of like bounced and then bounced off. That was neat. Didn't I tell you about Bumbles? Bumbles bounce! Ah, rip. Get it fixed. Let's get it fixed. La 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 la. Let's get this fixed. This is not good. We must try harder. Oh boy, there's three people there. Dang. Oh my gosh, who put who put a thing right there? Really? Seriously? Come on now. until we get to the middle. Once we pass this yellow line, that's when you can start putting blue stuff up. Don't mind bombs, but I do mind other things. Like beacons and things like that. Like I said, we're all playing together as friends. There's no reason for anybody to be up in this area. I'm going to end up kicking someone if they keep doing it because it's the same person every time. Everybody in the lobby right now is in the chat. No point in going right up into spawn. Yep, I'm about to block. If it happens again, I'm blocking. Because 
I've, I've already told them not to do that. And they're in the chat, and I know who they are. And I've told them more than once not to do that. And they say, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it. And then they do it again. Yeah, I'm about to block them from Splatoon on my side. It's not playing the game. That's legitimately just getting into spawn after we told you more than once to stay out of spawn. We try to give everybody breathing room here because everybody in this room are people that are in the chat right now. Yeah, just stay in the middle and then you won't get you you won't get your butt chewed. And also don't tell me sorry and then turn around and do the same thing again because then that means you're not really sorry. If you tell me sorry, it means you're going to try your hardest not to do it again. That's why you play ranked in X and said I mean, yeah, but the thing is, like, what is the, we're not ranked, so nobody needs to be spawn camping. Yeah, no, I know you weren't simply bored. I know who it was, and it wasn't you. The person who it was knows who it, that it was them. And I've, I've already called them out on it more than once, and if it happens again on either side, even if they're on my team, they're not going to get to play with me anymore. I like Turf War. I don't think it's boring. I think Turf War is amazingly fun. Plus, it also ranks up your catalog quicker than Salmon Run does. people's day just don't spawn camp when you're playing with me because not only ruining my day but you're pissing me off like I try to be as patient as possible and I try to give people multiple cho chances but the thing is if you say sorry and you keep doing it then you're not actually doing what you say sorry for you're not actually taking accountability and then you turn it into a victim stance mentality. I mean, I don't mind you playing. Just be aware that we have a rule here where uh, people shouldn't be in like the first three layers of where we spawn. Because it's really hard to get out of spawn if people are right there. Mid is the best place to be, even when I know- if I notice I'm spawn camping. Like, you'll notice something on this map, especially with me. Is I won't go up- up on that area over there. Even though there's a ramp that leads me straight to it, I won't go there. Because I want to give everybody a fair chance to win. And when you spawn camp, you're not giving people a fair chance to win. Okay, I'm about to really piss someone off. If they don't stop.
Good game, guys. Here we go. Oh, I've only got eight more. I've only got eight more gold up. Oh, no. I've only got eight more gold up, guys. What do I do? Yes, good game, everybody. Bam! Watch... Watch JoJo. found my shell out machine seed. I don't really, I don't really look at that. I like it being random all the time because then I can be like, oh, I'm going to get gold and then I get like light blue and everybody's like, ha ha, you didn't get gold again. I haven't gotten gold since the second season. And I haven't gotten silver since the first season. I know there's a way to check your shell out machine seed, but... Alright, see you in a minute, Zay. I just like, I just like being surprised. Even if it means I don't get a good, a good gotcha. Capsule, but I think I got that the third season it was a bronze capsule But yeah, I haven't gotten a silver or gold capsule silver since um, The first season where I got super duper lucky lucky duck and gold since the second season where I got the golden second season banner capsules have a really cute title like super duper lucky lucky duck i think one of them actually had a, a title that tied to star wars in one of the seasons the bronze capsules usually just give you ability chunks don't they good game guys And also, Silver, thank you for subscribing. I just saw that you subscribed. Sorry. I got invested in my game. Ability unlocked. 
La 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 la, ability unlocked. La 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 la. You need your swim speed chunks. I get it. I just don't usually use the ability chunks. It's really it's it's part another reason why I stick with just one outfit is so I can use as many ability chunks as possible to make that outfit be good for things like if I decide that I want to play ranked mode eventually again. I'm sitting on 50 with every other ability at like 200 plus. Dang. Yeah, you do get a lot of chunks from Salmon Run. That's true. You definitely do get a lot of chunks from Salmon Run. I mean, I don't really pay attention to that stuff, though, Ash. Like, I'm not that into the competitive world of Splatoon. I just kind of play it casually. Silver, you play Salmon Run? Awesome. I like to play Salmon Run too when I'm feeling it. I'm just not feeling it today because I don't get to do this flat fest this weekend. I mean, I hope I'm able to like do a little bit of this flat fest on my own, but like last time I didn't really get to do this flat fest because something came up for the weekend, and now this time I've got my uncle's celebration of life ceremony, and so I can't do this. I, I won't have. Wi-Fi where I'm at. <laughs> For stuff coming, heck yes. Well, I heard that a new thing at Dooley's was coming. I heard that. I'm excited about that. I haven't really watched the trailer of Side Order or uh, the new trailer of the new season. But I did hear that a new Dooley's was coming. The colors of this fest are boring. I getcha. I getcha. Yeah, I have the DLC. Yep. Yep, I've got the DLC. Um, so when Side Order comes out, I'll be able to play it. And I can also go to uh, Splat to the Splatoon 1 city and see Callie and Marie. Ha! Ah, dang it. I love Dooley content. I do. I'm a big Dooley main. I love Dooley's. Oh, don't you. It's not hammer time. I'm gonna get you, Mr. Hammer Time. MC Hammer, I'm gonna get you. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I got him. Oh no, I killed New York City Pizza. I have made a terrible error in my ways. Oh, jeez. Hi. I killed New York City Pizza again! <laughs> it's roller time since paint rollers, yeah. And it's like 72, dang. Oh man, good game guys! That was a close one. Good game. You can play the order. Don't forget to hit the like button, guys, if you're having fun. Or hit the dislike button if you're mad at me. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> Feel free to subscribe. We do a lot of multiplayer games here, for anybody who doesn't know. Um, and we do Pokemon, and we will be playing Side Order and stuff like that. So, yeah.
Boinka, boinka. I'm in school for that, so I got it, but I got a short term, so I don't care too much. Gotcha. Inkblot Art Academy! I have not yet bought the Deep Cut Amiibos. Unfortunately, most of my money has had to go to bills and things. I want the deep cut amiibos, but, you know, life has to come first, and that means me making sure I'm taking good care of myself and feeding myself and keeping a roof over my head and keeping my lights on and things like that. Plus, like I said, I literally just spent so much at that Comic-Con this weekend, or this last weekend that I can't really make any major purchases right now. <laughs> Although it was definitely worth it to meet Steve. I'm getting all three of them just because I have all of the amiibos up to this point. I have all the Splatoon 3 amiibos that have come out up to this point, including the Octoling ones and the uh, Callie and Marie ones that came out from Splatoon 1. And I got Pearl and Marina not that long ago, or I got Pearl and Marina a while back. Oh, jeez! I hate Killer Whale 5.1. Because they give you special gear that you can only get from the amiibos, which is why I buy them all, even if I didn't like a certain character. Not only that, but then if you are really, really good at grinding ability chunks and have certain outfits you want to wear, you can put them on your favorite Splatoon 3 amiibo and just put the amiibo on your controller and it will immediately change your outfit. Ah, how? <laughs> Me when I salmon run. <laughs> Good game, guys! Oh my gosh, it's already 9.12? We've literally got like 45 more minutes before the maps and modes update again. I love the ability to change main abilities. I find- yeah, I love that you can change main abilities now. I think that's awesome. I like it too. So I can customize my outfit the way I want it. I... I have to worry about taking care of myself before video games, unfortunately. And right now, taking care of myself is the most important thing because, 
like I said, I ended up over going over my budget a bit at the Comic Con, and so my mom has is gonna probably have to loan me some money till next paycheck. <laughs> Are they really pricey already? Dang. That's too bad. Oh well, it's fine. Go buy the big man amiibo. Thank you so much, Ash, for that $15 donation. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. That was really sweet. You did not have to do that. I will definitely, once I get my YouTube paycheck, buy the big man amiibo for you. Because you asked me to. I will do that. We will have the big man- well, hopefully I'll be able to find the big man amiibo, but I will do. Yeah, moms are really nice sometimes when they come in clutch. But I will find it and I will buy it as soon as I can. Thank you again, Ash. You did not have to do that. I appreciate it so much. Hagglefish and Sturgeon are the next maps. Well, good, because I didn't plan on playing anymore after the, uh... After this map was done. <laughs> after the maps and modes changed over. I'd only planned to play about three hours today. I hope to get back on, like, unfortunately now on, uh, yeah, well, this is, it's Thursday, but unfortunately now on Fridays, because of the medicine I take, I usually have to only play about two or three hours before I get sick. I'm really, really worried because I didn't take, I didn't take my medicine today. Um, and I'll have to take it tomorrow, so I hope we don't do a lot of stuff tomorrow, because I need to just chillax. Um. And then Saturday, I'll probably still be kind of sick from the medicine as well. So I'll have to try to take it as easy as possible. It's usually the first two- it's usually the day I take the medicine, the day after I take the medicine. And possibly the third day, depending on things. It's so frustrating, though, because, like, the medicine is helping. Because, like, I know it's helping. Because I, I ended up walking around Comic-Con for hours, and my feet never got sore or anything. And, you know, used to, I could only walk around for about an hour before my feet got sore. But it gives me a terrible stomach ache. Even thinking about taking it makes me want to throw up. And it gives me a horrible headache as well. Good game, guys! Good game! Which is why Fridays I had to move streams to 8 so that I could maybe get as much rest as possible. I still need to try to find a short for tomorrow and a short for, uh, Saturday. I love that I'm able to react to Super Chats now. That is so cool! I love that. Best thing ever! YouTube needs to keep adding stuff. Yeah, it's not a pill, though. It's actually a shot. It's a methotrexate. It's an arthritis. It's a shot for arthritis and minor... minor forms of cancer. Um... And yeah, it does. It gives me really bad side effects. It makes me sick. So, before I take it, I always take, like, an Aleve and a Tylenol. 
and I take all the medicine that I need to take for the night. I make sure I eat a good meal because I know as soon as I take the shot, I'm gonna be sick. And all I'm gonna wanna do is lay down and sleep because my stomach's gonna be hurting so bad that I don't wanna even be awake because I'll feel like I'm gonna puke. I'm hoping when I go see my rheumatologist again in April, there's some kind of medicine that can help you with the tummy ache. That they can give me because, yeah, it's... I, I don't like how it impacts my schedule. You know, that's part of the reason why I stopped taking methotrexate in the first place is because when I would take methotrexate, I would take six pills every morning. And, or or uh, every Wednesday, not every morning, six pills every Wednesday, and it would give me a ginormous stomach ache, and I would just want to sleep the whole night or the whole day, and I still had to go to work that night, and sometimes it was hard to get out of bed because I was getting sick. And so my, my rheumatologist was like, well, why don't you try these shots? They tend to not give you as many stomach aches, but I still get stomach aches with a shot. But also, I am also kind of uh, not a big fan of needles, so, you know, that could be it too. And I've tried to do things to make it easier for me, like buy band-aids that I think are super cute, and try to have something I really like for supper that night, maybe play a game I really enjoy for a bit before I take do it, but... It just ends up making all that stuff less enjoyable because I get the the migraine and the stomach ache. Gonna sign off here and head off to sleep. All right, see you later, spirit. Sleep well, and I hope you have a good rest of the night. Much love, my friend. Oh my gosh. Lots of death coming my way. Not gonna die today, though. Not gonna let you kill me. Ah! No! Dang it. <laughs> good game, guys. You got me. You got me real good there. See you in a minute, Ash. Good game, everybody. I just woke up. I must have fallen asleep in my chair. Oh no, Moose! I'm sorry! That's not good! I- if I- if I squid bag somebody, it's because they're in the spawn. Anytime, the only time I'll ever squid, like, I don't like to squid bag. The only time I ever squid bag is if the person is literally in my spawn and not letting me move out of my spawn. And then if I kill them, then I'm like, haha, stop spawn camping me. Oh, Ash was squid bagging. Yeah, we don't squid bag here. Ash knows that, so I don't know why they were squid bagging. Yeah, I, I try not to squid bag anybody that I know is in the community. Um, usually, if someone in the community is spawn camping and I know they're in my chat, I tell them, hey, look, you need to stop. I don't really point them out or anything. Um, but then if they keep doing it after, after I say that, then I have to point them out. And that I hate doing that because I don't want to embarrass anybody. But, like, 
the whole the whole point of my YouTube channel is to spread love and positivity. And we're not we're not ranked we're not ranked players. We're just you know play. It's just like we're playing with friends, just casually playing with friends. Welcome back, Huggy Wuggy. The only time I will squid bag is if someone tells me they are okay with me squid bagging them. Moose has given me the okay to squid bag them. But no, it's usually if it's a rando who's literally just sitting in spawn for me or uh, if, uh, if we're doing a squid party. And like, I don't mind if people squid bag me as long as they're in my chat, but if it's a rando who squid bags me, then they tend to be my target. <laughs> um, but if they're in my chat, I don't mind as much. But yeah, no one should be squid bagging. Anybody in this community should know better than to squid bag in spawn camp. We've been playing Splatoon 3 long enough in this community with those rules that they should know better. We always say try to keep mid. You know. And if you feel like you might be on the verge of spawn camping somebody, then you back up. Ninja, good job, good job. Whoa. <laughs> Looks like my game froze for a minute. That was weird. Oh gosh. Auto bomb. Oh my gosh, what was that? Ah! Jump! Ah! Jumps! Ah! I'm dead. <laughs> Solo queue, my team got the splat zone. We were 15 points away from the knockout. I got a solo wipeout then squid bagged. And I mean, that's fine. If you want to do that in ranked, that's fine. Piss off players in ranked if that's what you like to do. But when we're playing as a community, please don't piss off any of the people that are playing with us. I personally hate squid bagging. And I think it's really rude and not the best way to show to do things. But also, I've noticed that when a rando is spawn camping and then I squid bag them after I kill them, they usually don't come back to spawn. Welcome back, Angel Cakes! How are you? Good to see you again. Oh man, I'm still grinding catalog and getting more conch shells. I totally get that. I have to grind my catalog so much in the next two weeks. Cause I'm only on level 25. I, I mean, I don't think so. I think when you squid bag, that's kind of like saying, ha ha, I'm better than you. Unless there's an actual reason to squid bag. Like, if someone squid bags you, then by all means, chase them down and squid bag them back. Or if someone gets in spawn, by all means, if you kill them, squid bag them. But when you squid bag because you win a game, or you're gonna win a game and you know it, that's kind of rude. That kind of is like saying, I'm better than you, ha 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 ha, you know what I mean? At least in my opinion. That may not be the opinion of everybody, and that's fine, and I get that, you know? Some people like to squid bag, that's fine, do it. I've seen a lot of Japanese players do the squid bagging thing. You know? Japanese players do it a lot, but I've come to expect that from Japanese players. Because the way Japanese players do it, they think of it as something friendly. You know what I mean?
They think of it as kind of a good game kind of thing. But from what I've seen here in the United States, we think of it as a kind of bad... Kind of like being like, ha ha, I just killed you, I'm better than you, kind of thing. Yeah, I agree, Mango. Squid bagging without a good reason brings bad luck. Elijah got me. Yeah, lots of people don't like it when people squid bag them. I personally don't like it when people squid bag me unless they're in my chat and they're playing with me live. Like I said, I, if they squid bag me, I usually try to get target them until I can squid bag them back. Yeah, I get Japanese players doing it, and I don't get as upset with Japanese players doing it, because I know with Japanese culture, that's kind of them saying, good game. Because they usually don't, they don't usually squid bag if they kill you right away, but if you put up a good fight, that's when they squid bag. If they win. You know what I mean? At least from what I've seen. It's the same thing as teabagging, only it's called squid bagging because the game is about squids and octos. <laughs> you know, like how you kill somebody in Fortnite and then you teabag on their face? That kind of thing. Yeah. That's what squid bagging is. It's the Fortnite teabagging in Splatoon. <laughs> Good game! I did not expect to win that. Holy cow. Good game, guys. I got Super Jump Spot! <laughs> Gotta bounce. Catch on the next. See you later, Cool Breeze. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. And I will be back live again on Monday. So I hope to see you then. Monday at 7. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did originate in Call of Duty. I got a new badge. I got a triple splashdown badge. Yay! Art school? Um, splatter shot sounds like 25 splat streak to me. This locker caught my eye again. Oh gosh, I did not expect that to be in there. Ooh, that one's a good one too. Yeah, I know teabagging was also a thing in Halo. Teabagging has been a thing for a while. Here we go! my way over to there. Get my way over to mid. There we go. Down to mid. Oh shit! I was still able to do the splashdown even though they killed me. That's weird. I'm surprised that the splashdown still happens even though they kill you mid splashdown. I guess it's because there's two other parts of you that they haven't killed. I don't know. you been, Phantom? I hope you've been doing well. You can shoot up there. I thought that I thought you could shoot up there, but then I was like, maybe I'm wrong. Oh! Oof. I don't know what foof is. It was like fucking oof put together. <laughs> oh, foof! <laughs> Maybe I should start using that from here on out. Oh. 
because I almost said fuck, but then I changed it to oof, and I don't know why. <laughs> and it turned into foof. Oh, foof! You're sick and your arm hurts? Oh, no, Phantom. I'm sorry to hear that. I've not been feeling the greatest, but I think it's because we've had so many weather changes the last couple days. 25 splat streak. Sounds like something you name a dummy. A brick dummy. Uh, a brick dunny. Oh, not dummy. A brick dunny. Oh, jeez. There's too much. Yeah. And I get that. I get that a lot. I need to find this pink beacon and kill it. Oh, they got it. Thank you. Pink Indo. Ah! I was just shy of the elevator. a horror movie he is oh man i am so tired of them taking things that used to be disney property and turning them into horror movies that's so stupid good game guys good game what time is it all right i'm gonna break the room real fast I'm gonna break the room real fast so I can grab my conch shells and my catalog stuff. And then we'll play till 10. Roaring loud enough to wake the dead. I'm starting to sound like an old moose. High tide carpaccio? North Pacific scrapper. I don't want to be a North Pacific scrapper. Alright, what catalog things did I get? Oh, hey! Your catalog level went up. Ooh, I got a mystery box! Ooh! Money! 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 That's not what I meant when I said money, game. You give me an emote that only give me 6,000 coins? How dare you? Oh my gosh. And did in fact the way to the shopping bag. Oh gosh. That's not a new emote. It's one I already had. It gave me money for it. So it's one I already had, unfortunately. True. I feel like Disney deserves a middle finger sometimes. Oh, that's awesome, Angel Cake. That's so cool. A Christmas sweater. I got to get to, I got to get to level 50 now just to get a Christmas sweater. I don't even know what's next. I need to look. Wants me to edit badges, titles. Okay, next up, I get a coffee cup. <laughs> I don't even like coffee. And then a title graffiti, food ticket, and then an emote just playing. See here. I like I want that perfect pirouette emote and I want that outfit. Now that is a cute sweater. Let me get a mystery box. Shh. 
shot caller. They've got a lot of mystery boxes in this. This time around. What is that? Oh, it's graffiti. Okay. Oh, that banner is so cool. I need it. Oh, man. I'm going to have to grind so hard. I want to squid in a round of moat. <laughs> you get the levels that have clothing sets you got from previous catalogs. It gives you money instead. Yeah, and I don't know if I got the, the previous catalog clothing there. But if I did, we'll know. Because uh, last, last uh, season... I got a lot of money, so I guess they have the same clothing sets every season. But at least right now, I don't know. I Well, I'm baffled because I wanted like a lot of money. I didn't want an emote that turned into 6,000 bucks. How boring. I put fuzz on your junk. No! But one kiss emote? Yes. You've been neglecting the game. I get that. It's I understand that. It's hard to play the game with all the other games out there and all the stuff we have to do in life. Building sets before level 50 is new, after is reruns. Gotcha. It's in my lap. I'm sorry, Luna. I can't give you a hand of time. Maybe soon! Oh, there's no escaping that. <laughs> we really need more super stats. Splat snails. I'm glad Splatfest is here because it upgrade it, it gives you a 1.2 experience boost on your catalog. And then I'm also glad the end of the season is near because it also gives you a boost on your catalog so you can hopefully get the rest of the stuff before the end of the season. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try my hardest. Hopefully Fry will finally get a win. Fry deserves a win. Rise the best character in Splatoon 3. Hello, Sokichi! How have you been, my friend? Welcome to the stream! As long as we don't have to pay real money for him, then I hope so too. But if you're thinking again about paying real money for him, that's just stupid. In my opinion, paying real money for sea snails is dumb. Glad to hear you've been doing good. I'd rather spend my money on things that will last. I've been rejecting a ton of games. I getcha, I getcha. Had Saturday in a heavy lead. Unfortunately, with Saturday being in a heavy lead, it still doesn't mean we'll win. It just means we'll get a lot of mirror matches, which means we won't get great experience or a lot of clout, because when you get a mirror match, you don't get clout. So that ends up making it hard to actually do well in Splatfest, as if your team is the most popular. I need this. We need the Splatoon 1 Splatfest result system. Didn't they change it though because people were complaining about it in Splatoon 2? You actually got your Oculus a couple days ago? How was that? I bet that was awesome. Well, people were complaining about it, so there was obviously something about it people didn't like. 
And there was something about it that Nintendo didn't like either. They wanted a lot of mirror matches. Why would you do that? Mirror matches don't give you clout. We're in a cam. Yeah, if it's my cat, Luna. Queen Luna has arrived to bless us all. Indeed. Indeed she has. Oh, you did! Nice! Luna's wisdom, words of wisdom are be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. That's Luna's words of wisdom. Here we go! Did I just... Oh, there is like a rainbow on that boat over there. It it's threw me off for a minute. I didn't know there was a rainbow there. Wow. Oh, jeez. Go away, torpedo. Wow. No. a skeleton inside you. You are a brain. You are a brain controlling a skeleton mech that is wearing meat armor. That is the best advice ever. And one of my friends really liked that whenever I shared it with them. When I shared that advice with them. They really liked it. I have a lot of friends who are guys. And play a lot of mech games. I splash down. <laughs> How sad. but then I died. Oh, I really gotta just clean up this because this is ridiculous. <laughs> just splash down in the water <laughs> to get a little bit of ink on the other side. Good game. Good game. You did? Okay, so I'm not the only one. 
I never really noticed it before. I guess I just don't pay enough attention. That was a popular target. Let's see who this person is. Yeah, how... I don't know you. I hate when people send you friend requests and you don't know them. Like, this person that just sent me a friend request was from, like, Jacksonville, Florida. Dude, I don't even live in Jacksonville, Florida. I never had any classmates with that name. Or work, work employees with that name. Become ungovernable. Grow corn in your backyard. Heck yes. You make lots of good food with corn. You don't have to buy stuff. I mean, I I was I was playing Splatoon 2 in the early days. I remember the ranking system and it sucked. I like the one we have now. Not gonna lie. I like the one we have now. Vibrating! What the heck? Like, my whole entire controller is shaking. Stop it! Oh my gosh. person I was going for died. Gotcha. Gotcha again. Ugh. Hi. Ah, rip. I was doing so good too. I should say we should be able to play one or two more games before Maps and Modes update. It may only be one though. What time is it? 9.52. We might be able to get two in. It depends on how quickly we get matched up. Okay. guys well, if you went up here come up here you know I don't mind you coming up here you have, like you have to ask me permission but you don't let's see if we can't get two more in before maps and modes update
I know it. Tell me all about it. Really? Oh my goodness, you poor baby. How dare they? Yeah. Luna has spoken, indeed. Oh, I gotta put you down now. Sorry, Luna. Queen Luna has returned. She has indeed. Maybe, if we're lucky. Maybe three, if we're super, super lucky. No! Rip. She got me. Nice job, Peachy. Ew, that was gross. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, keep my distance for a few minutes. Gotta get these blues! Gotta change it to yellow! I'm sad that I can't ink the tree anymore. I liked being able to ink the trees. Oh, we're in danger? Really? I thought we were doing pretty darn good, not gonna lie. Death! It's just like, bam, 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 bam! You're dead, you're dead, you're dead again! Why haven't you died yet? You need to be dead! Die! I tell you, die! Oh my gosh. If that got us out of danger, that's good. Now we just gotta stay out of danger. Good game, guys! Good game! Oh, okay. That sounds fine. You can do that. But I still, I still like the new way they do them. I feel like they improved the system. I feel like Splatoon 3 has improved a lot of things, and that Splatoon 1 is just not near as good as Splatoon 3. But that's just my opinion. Let's see if we can't get a last match, best match, without getting kicked out. Last match, best match, let's go. Come on, get us match, come on. Last match, best match, and then I can end the day off with gambling! Heck yes. Last match, best match, guys. Let's do this. Good luck, everybody. Let's do this. Good luck! Last match, best match. I'm 
gonna sneak on over here and sit down in my thinking chair and think. Oh no! Think. Go away! Think. Oh my gosh! If you use your mind and take a step at the time, you won't die in Splatoon. I just died. Thank you, PG, for the good luck. And no worries, I understand if you had to leave. I get that. I get that. Especially because you got a conch shell, so you want to get that conch shell used up. Flash down. Still died, but that's okay. Rotation updated for you. It'll update for us after this match. We got in, like, right at the nick of time to have a last match. Last match, best match. What? I didn't even see that person. It was just like, surprise, motherfucker! It's gonna be a haggle and sturgeon. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna end after this, because I don't really like either of those levels much. <laughs> if it was Wahoo World, I might play a little bit longer, but... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of sturgeon shipyard and hagglefish. I got to deal with here. Ah! Yes, yeah, good game, everybody. I'm glad you guys all got to play today. close game. Good job. Good job. I love Alma's hoodie. That is a cute hoodie and I want it. It was the best match indeed. Indeed it was. Now it's time for me to gamble away my hard-earned cash. Let's get the gold! Let's get the gold! Come on. Give me a gold. Give me a gold. Oh my gosh! Why does this game hate me so much? Uh, ah! Alright, whatever. I didn't need gold anyway. Jeez. Rude. Rude game. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you all being here as long as you were. Feel free to hit that like button if you haven't already. Feel free to subscribe if you like multiplayer games or you like Pokemon or Mario Kart or even uh, Side Order and Five Nights at Freddy's. I've got a ton of games I want to try to play um, that I want, that I started and never finished. I want to get back into those. So thank you for being here. And of course, as always, much love, everybody. Mwah! Go out there, go spread some love and positivity today because you never know who needs it. And I hope to see you guys on Monday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We will be doing more Pokemon and we're going to be working on the Blueberry School Arc. 
So that's going to be fun. Have a good rest of the night. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you guys on Monday. Bye, everyone.